in the top left playing is Elodie. Interesting. We've got Martin, aka Spacefront. And in the bottom right, we've got Fiven playing as Ryosa. Yeah, Fiven, definitely a big Ryota fan, especially on this map. Seen them putting some good work with Ryota so far. Interesting. And Elodie, I can't remember. Did Elodie get buffs or were people just saying she deserves some buffs? Uh, she did not get any buffs, actually. She's one of the pretty weak commanders that did not get a buff. So, I mean, the thing is, like, Elodie uh, is a weird commander that's because uh, it really, like, it's kind of like if she had a passive, you know, where, like, the passive is influencing the enemy's uh, army com composition and like that that can be valuable like if you were at the end of war group one LED was actually a pretty popular pick because like the meta was pretty much figured out and we knew like you build this and then you transition into that and then eventually you go go on. and LED kind of like stopped that meta game plan in a way, and so that was why LOD was quite popular. And I think LOD also, like, not only is uh, quite weak at the moment, she also uh, doesn't have that meta aspect to her groove, which means that, like, even if, like, in one or two years we see LOD being strong, even without changing anything, uh, right now, we're early in the game's life, so I don't think LED is going to do much. But, I mean, we'll see. Maybe Spacefront has it already figured out or something. Yeah. I think, yeah, you're right, because like one of the real strengths was her getting in Wargroove 1, her groove, pretty quickly. Or at least relatively quickly, but now you have to wait until Tier 2 to get the same version of that groove. Yep. Uh, it takes then even in War Group 1, what would end up happening is like LD would not groove until very late in the game anyway. Yeah, you would yes, you generally save it for like can I get lethal this turn? Or, you know, in some in some cases though you would just see like, oh well, there's a golem here, let me just uh grab that real quick. Yeah, I mean if there's a golem, you get the golem. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Uh, so they are going to meet in the middle right now. Uh, fine. They both actually sent a merfolk to go capture their London mill. That's interesting. Um, Ooh, five and... This is always the scary dirty, moment, right? Like aggressive, you, yeah. Yeah, you put your commander yeah. next to a river. I don't think you can wall the top or bottom either. There's too many sides open, so like, yeah. Oh, but no lethal, it looks, so... It looks like it won't be any lethal, yeah. Maybe if LZ had grew. LZ's also, like, not super fast. But we're gonna see a bunch of crits happen. And... And Spacefront's looking to take over this position. And we're seeing the, oh, uh, the, the trademark... He transformed into a mage. Uh, that's interesting because we saw in an earlier game where like the mage timings can be pretty awkward, but with the with that the mage ends up being built on the correct side of the water, which means it's gonna reinforce pretty fast. And Spacefront also has that balloon to help it. Yeah, Spacefront's done really good work with balloons so far in this map. I've actually been very inspired by them, so Yep. Uh, also, Ryota was, is in a pretty rough position because he didn't have any villages to heal. Yeah, Fiven has to burn a mage heal. I'm just going to see the slow march of Elodie. And Elodie's actually pretty close to having tier 2 now. Like, knocking down this village is going to be a lot of groove. And yet, getting more captures. Yep. And now there's only a harpoon ship on the defense for the water. That's kind of funny. 
I guess the main goal of the harpoon was to shut down the tower, but I think in this position you can still build from the top of the tower for a space from. Um, let's see. I'm just you know doing a bit of counter attack. Yeah, I really can gonna go. Has to be a bit careful. Like has to like Ivan's gonna go fight to the top of the map instead. To like avoid LED and this sword army, but that stronghold isn't gonna be able to run away with them. So have to be careful about like not leaving your strongholds too open. Yeah. And I mean, Five and those also putting a bit of pressure on the stronghold, but yeah, Space Front gonna answer that. Space Front has eighteen hundred, by the way. Dragon and the golem built. Although the golem wasn't a full buy, it was a converter. Oh, actually, that's smart. We can talk about that after this screw. Ooh, big blade dash. Does some good damage. Actually, importantly, slows Elody down, so she can't yoinky or she joined that dog right now. But yeah, only three move. That's actually uh, real. That groove is actually gonna do decent work against all the melee commanders because having less moves means you have less uh, threat range on the groove. Yeah, which is five are just getting any kind of damage they can this turn. I guess they want to build 50% yeah, towards the next groove. It's, uh... Yep. Oh. And we see the groove on the dog, indeed. Yep. That's a permanent tier two as well, so... Guess they're just like I need yeah. I need some value and LED is not gonna move very fast this turn, so I mean this is made like mainly a big fight is happening. This knight has actually been very effective and doesn't have any answers. The harpy also like locked the tower down, so like when an air trooper was built it got hit immediately. And then now the harpy gets hit after being built. So the harpy and the knight have been pretty big problems for five and recently. Ooh, but the finally gonna go down, but the harpy's still here. And it's gonna be a bit. It's gonna be awkward to fight this, but Ryota has tier one again, and that's the strength of Ryota. You can spam tier ones if you want to. It's not the best value, and it's not like the easiest to use, but yeah, five and. I mean, Briola tier 1, very fast. Yeah. It's wow. a witch, and I think it's the correct buy here. Because uh, there's a dragon, and you have to deal with that harpy. But, looks like... Wait, does air trooper suicide from beach? It does. Oh, it does. Oh no, we have found a use for the air troopers. <laughs> <laughs> and sword follow up, and I think this might be death. Yeah, this is looking... I mean, there is like this suicide plus the harpy can hit from that side too. Yeah, there's another suicide as well, so. And I mean, LED is gonna hit too. Yep. So. Ooh, this is the. I mean, we have hit a bunch of units with the tier 2. And now all these units are back with a vengeance. <laughs> and there's gonna be harpy follow up plus commander, so. Byvin, yep, not gonna take down space front for both games. Only the one. But... Yeah, and I mean, good play from Spacefront to make use of all these weakened units from Ryota Group to turn the tables on him. Yeah, because it wasn't even just that uh, the Groove did it, left a bunch of them weak, but there was also a bunch of army fights happened with low health units, and that was just to build Groove on Ryota again. And I think Fiverr should have really used Ryota Tier 1 that turn and just tried to escape and do some damage because... They were just a little bit too vulnerable there. In I the mean, end. yeah, in these small maps, like when there's a fight, it's it tends to be pretty dangerous for the commander. But also, since the commander is your main fighting unit, you can't really not use them. So, like, you, that's why like small maps are very cutthroat in positioning and tactics. And. Space front comes out on top this time. Yeah, and actually, something we didn't really talk about, we kind of touched on it a little bit, was this golem buy earlier. And I just want to mention yeah. it, because it's something cool you don't get to see very often. 
the it's around thirty percent, but the golden crit means it's still gonna chunk. Yeah. And but just to explain, units, yeah, are pretty cheap to convert. Yes. Yeah, because any when you convert a unit, it is based on the health of that unit for the cost. So you convert a low health unit into a golem. It actually doesn't cost that much money, and then you can use that to, for example. Uh, you can heal up with mage heals, or it'd be amazing to see. I really want to see a Mercia game actually, where like you have an injured unit, you convert it, and then Mercy heal up to a decent chunk of health. Mm -hmm. I think that'd be really cool. But yeah, just like a cool little thing Space Frontier in there was just like had a low health unit, ran it back, heal, converted it to a golem, and eventually that becomes like a huge threat, right? Obviously not for a while, but. It was, it was a cool play. You don't get to see it very often. Uh, but anyway, very nicely done there. Martin, aka Space Front, takes the game. 